everyone, Paul Akers. So I posted a video over the weekend that said, can you make too many improvements? And somebody replied back, and I apologize, I don't remember your name right now, on how I manage my emails as an executive that gets a lot of uh, emails from people and a public personality to some extent. And the truth of the matter is I get like 300 emails a day. It's absolutely insane. And it used to be that managing my emails used to be the bane of my existence. I used to feel enormous pressure on me all the time to try to deal with them. And inevitably, I always had a big inbox and I had all kinds of different ways to manage it and none of it worked until I applied lean to it. So the key to managing emails is one piece flow to answer the emails as they come in. Now, I know everyone's saying right now that's absolutely insane. It's too disruptive. All I can tell you is I've been at this for 15 years and I finally figured out the secret. There are no emails in my inbox. The second they come in, I reply to them. Now, it's not flawless, but it's close to flawless. This is the way I do it. Number one is I have a variety of different methods by which I communicate to people around the world with that much inbound information. So the first perspective is the purpose of an email is because somebody wants some information from you and for the most part it's, it's time sensitive. People need to know that's why they're asking. They wouldn't be asking if they didn't need to know. So why don't you figure out why you can't answer your emails in a timely fashion and make improvements so you can deliver the results to the customer, the people asking you the questions, uh, promptly. And that's all I've done. So here's how I do it. Number one, there are all different levels of users and emails. There are people that will email you once every six months. There are people that will email you five times a day. So what I do is I always take high volume email people and put them over to one of my applications, either Voxer, which turns my phone into a walkie talkie, WeChat, or WhatsApp. These apps allow you to push the button basically and say, hey Bob, what do you think of this idea? Or send a little video clip or whatever. And then you can reply back to them with a quick punch of the button on your phone and it's done. So it takes the whole process of email and leans it out and makes it much more effective. So I communicate with I don't know how many people, 50 people a day on Voxer from all over the world. Very fast, it makes my communication so much more effective because there's a lot more depth and density in information in an audio message than there is in a type message because you have to interpret what the person's saying. When you're speaking through Voxer or one of these apps to turn your phone into walkie-talkie, it's very dense. You hear the inflection in people's voice. And it's just very effective. And on top of that, on all those applications, you can enclose a quick video clip. You can enclose a, a, a text message if you want. And you can also put a photograph or multiple photographs. So it's very fast, very seamless, very easy. So that's the way I handle high volume. Then the next thing I do is I ask myself the question, why do you have so many emails? You should be asking yourself this question. So oftentimes what I've observed with people is they go back and forth with five or six emails to answer a single question. It's absolutely ridiculous. Why can't you answer the question the first time out? And the reason why is because the communication method is ineffective. So we use videos uh, you know, intensively here at FastCap. So when I have a question of anybody, I generally say, Send them a quick video like I'm using video right now because again it's, it's a lot more dense in communication so I send a quick video try to keep it to 30 60 seconds I send those out because they're easy to email particularly if you have an iPhone if you have an Android you're a little bit disadvantaged I know you're gonna get all kinds of hate emails here but the iPhone manages uh, videos much more effectively than the Android I have both phones so I'm not speaking out of turn anyways so we use videos which are much more powerful which eliminate the number of uh, emails you have to use. Then the next thing I do is I rarely ever type an email. I always either use Voxer, I use Siri, I click the button and say, hey Bob, this is my response, point one, this, point two, point three, done, send. Then the next step is I rarely ever read an email. I always select all on my iPhone, speak, and I let them speak to me. So I, can, I don't have to sit there and read that small little print and try to interpret. And actually it kind of turns the email into an audio. It has maybe a little more depth of information, but the bottom line is for me, it's just a lot easier than reading all these long emails. And don't send me long emails because I rarely ever read them. And if I do read them, I'll use Siri and then try to get you to be more pithy, which I'm very deliberate about telling people, give me the facts. I don't need 
you know, a, a laundry list of things. Then the next thing I do is I reply back. If I'm not going to type the message, because I only type short messages for the most part, I use the audio memo feature within the iPhone, which allows me to record a quick message and send it to people. So that eliminates all the typing, much more quick to do that. And people always say, well, then I need to read through an email and scan it to find past data. I just say nonsense. If you're having to do that, your emails, your, uh, gosh, your communication method, method is screwed up. That's all I have to say. I hate to be that way, but you know, I rarely have to go back and scan for information. I do, don't get me wrong, I do occasionally. But for the most part, we solve the problem and we move on to the next thing. And if there's data or information that I need in an email, rather than go back and try to find the email, which I know how to do a search very easily within, uh, within the iPhone and get that information. But let's say there's data that I need. I'll just type that into Evernote and title it of the appropriate category and then do Evernote. Boom, there's the data. It's all there and away I'm done. Away and it's over with. Or the most important thing is I take care of everything immediately. So if somebody says I need to do something, I don't put it off. You know, there's a whole saying that what may, what, what insane person would say they don't have time to answer an email now and they think they're going to have time later to answer it. I mean, come on, that's ludicrous. Who thinks that way? Well, most people think that way. I used to think that way. I never think that way anymore because I understand the power of one piece flow and the elimination of batch work. Batch work is a nightmare. So that's a, basically how I handle my email. I do everything just in time. I use audio to reply. I use video to reply. I use Voxer, WeChat, or What's Up to reply. And that allows seamless communication. So I get so much done that not only do I have time to answer all my emails, all my Voxers, do all the videos, but I produce four or five videos a day often. I deal with all the product information and, and product development at our company along with our engineering team. I'm able to get so much more done than most people because I've figured out how to manage communication at a very high level or a higher level than most people uh, manage that. So that's how I do it. Hopefully that helps some of you. Thanks a lot.